welcome to the Winds of Jupiter November Tarot reading. Now if you get a chance, check out my new website. I put a lot of work into it. And the little eye in the sky up there, if it's working, because I just initiated them for this series of readings. Theoretically, it's supposed to take you to my website. Now if it's not working, there's a link down in the description box and you can get to my website there. It's been kind of fun designing these images to go on various products such as t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, even some home decor things. And hopefully when I have more time now that I'm at building this website, I can really focus on doing some unique things. I thought the alien in the maze was kind of cool and might make a good Christmas gift. Now here there's a lot of things going on and electricity in the air. And this has been happening since a series of eclipses in August. But now things are going really deep with it going into Scorpio. There's going to be an intensity that you haven't felt for quite a while. And that's because Jupiter is now in Scorpio, the planet of expansion and optimism and luck. And Venus is going into Scorpio too. And this is going to shine a hot, passionate spotlight on your relationships and your value of your relationships. And whether it's working out or not, this could be a really intense time. And then Neptune is going direct in Pisces. And both Neptune and Pisces are about illusions, hidden things, spirituality. And this is all a big mixture, and if you light that fuse, I think there might be an explosion. The overall energy card of your reading is the Four of Pentacles. Now, they call this the Miser card, but then again, the number four does signify stability. And maybe financial stability. And even well-being. Your health is good. Things are going well. But somewhere in the middle of all this is there's some unhappiness. You've been hanging on to some things that just aren't serving you anymore and are actually making you unhappy. But if you choose to move on, you might have to then deal with some insecurities. I think this has been a theme off and on for Leo for quite a while, is that you have some people in your life that just aren't acting right sometimes and kind of puts, you know, a pleasant environment into constant chaos. And then again, you know, Leos do like drama. But there are some people that are opposing you or not feeling comfortable with the type of decisions that you're making. Or maybe they're just manipulating you. Because the cards on the left for what you know, is the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Cups. And the Seven of Wands is always seems like you're defending your position or your beliefs. And people are attacking you about it. And then again, I think you've kind of questioned whether these people really love or care about you. So you have the Ace of Cups there. And this is giving you a new beginning, a promise of a new emotional beginning. It really is time to hit a reset button somewhere. This Ace of Cups can be a, a blessing that you have to mellow out and start enjoying life, enjoying the pleasures of life instead of fighting with people and being manipulated or you manipulating them, hanging on to things that aren't making you happy. But you know, we have to be realistic. Sometimes, you know, you want the stability and you're not in any circumstances to make some of these really dramatic changes. But it kind of seems like the cosmos is disagreeing with you. Because the cards in the center for what is or can be yours. You receive the Emperor and the Death card. The Emperor is usually about taking control of your life. He is all about organization, structure, rules, following rules, finding civility. Doing all the functions required to run an empire. And that means managing people and even yourself and making fair decisions. But sometimes 
the fair decisions that you make don't benefit you. You don't put yourself in the equation. And the death card is saying that you're in a transition right now. And it's agreeing with the Four of Pentacles that you've been hanging on to things. And the death card now is about changing that. Since you didn't make these decisions and you're back there still kind of defending yourself from these people, the cosmos decided to make a decision. This death card comes when it's needed, not wanted. And it is time to start shedding things in your life that aren't serving you anymore. Things that are meaningless. They might have had meaning way back when, but right now they're not benefiting you anymore. Get the drag of society things out of your life. This death card is always beckoning for closures. And here it is time to change and you can't resist change. This is where you just kind of go with the flow now. It's like a drop of water that goes with the least resistance. Just let it take its progression. Now the same thing is really going on in the cards next door there too is because you received the King of Swords and the Four of Cups. And the King of Swords is the minor arcana version of the Emperor. He's saying here to start making your decisions with logic and reason. Because the Four of Cups there is saying you've made some decisions with your emotions and it just hasn't made you happy. You've been kind of emotionally depleted, exhausted, weary. And you're contemplating, why is it like this? Why are people like that? Well, the answer usually is avarice. Everybody's out for greed in themselves. Rather than helping everybody and having a win-win situation, other people would rather just take it all and leave nothing for anyone else. And that's why you can't make your decisions with just emotions. You have to have logic behind it. And take a look at why you're really making these decisions and are you really helping other people? Are you benefiting yourself? Because there's no reason that you should not benefit in any of this. I think people choose to dicker with you about that and say, oh yeah, you're being really wrong about this and I should get more than you. But is that really true? Now the cards in the future are saying that you're coming to the end of a cycle. I think what it is is that you're going to see some things exposed. You receive the moon, the world, and the king of cups. Now the moon card can be about deception and lying, manipulation. The reflective light of the moon is distorting things and you haven't seen it completely. But I think now it's starting to expose some of the lying and deceit that's been happening in the backdrop. Some people have been pulling the strings and you've been allowing it. But now that you're seeing things with the real eyes and you're seeing that, yeah, this really wasn't working out for me and I've been hanging on to this for a really long time, it is time to change. And the world card is saying, yeah, this is an end of a cycle. It was a rough one, but you learned. You learned a lot from experience. And the King of Cups is there to help you heal. He's one of those that can really ameliorate and help you heal from emotional hurt. He brings this mature energy into the party about being able to regulate and control your emotions. And the Emperor and the King of Swords too is about control and not using emotions in making your decisions. So there's a nice balance here. You know, you've got the King of Cups along with the Emperor and the King of Swords. A lot of good mature energy coming in. Something that's going to help you direct your next challenges. Because there will be now. It's time to accept new challenges and move on. If other people didn't agree with what you're doing in your life, well, maybe it's just time to say, c'est la vie. Whatever. Go live yours and I'll live mine. Now the moon card can bring in intuition and dreams and maybe that's where some of the realizations came from. 
And the King of Cups, too. Any Cups card really is about intuition, bringing in messages. And a lot of times it's with synchronicity. Things happen in events that all of a sudden have significance. So keep your eye out for that because I think there's going to be some coincidences that one day you're going to sit back and go, wow, I didn't realize that was connected to that. And then it all makes sense. And I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness.